Hello my fellow miner, was this you when you first heard about Nice has cracking LHR completely? And then again when you heard that NB miner did the same? Well it definitely was me and I feel like I did a rush job on NB miner and this is the full coverage, so enjoy. We are going to have a look at NB miner 41.0 full LHR unlock in Ethereum. Yes, finally, something awesome in Windows and Hardware. Change log, graphic cards, overclock settings including how to set up in HiveOS, how to set up in Windows 10, results, conclusion, profits. Change log, 100% LHR unlocker added for both Windows and Linux. Run NB Miner with admin privileges to get 100% LHR unlock. Tested and verified on drivers, read the drivers please. Other driver versions may have some compatibility issues. Previous LHR mode are removed. And the keyword here is use the proper drivers. That seems to be the fix for the vast majority who have had problems after my previous video. But of course you won't have any because you are my very favorite fellow miner. Quickly moving on like a ninja, uh, we're going to have a look at the RTX 3050 from MSI, the Ventus 2X, the RTX 3060, LHR version 2 from Sotag Gaming, it has been working perfectly in very good quality to be honest. The RTX 3060 Ti from Asus, their tough series. No, that is actually the wrong picture. There, now we have the right one. The graphic card comes with two balls of steel in each fan. Military grade. Yes, yes, a piano was dropped on my head as a kid, so I am legally excused. We also have the MSI Venture 3, which is also an RTX 3060 Ti rocking Hynix RAM. But this time it's a revision 2, and that means it can actually clock up to 1700 in Windows or 3400 in Hive OS. This very nice card is super slim and super noisy. Then we have the RTX 3070. I chill 4x from Eno 3D. It's actually surprisingly good. The quality is top notch. I have not changed anything. It's super cool actually. And then of course it comes with lots of RGBs that you cannot turn off via the software because the software part sucks. But it doesn't matter because more RGBs, more mega hash. Up next we have the RTX 3070 Ti from Sotag Gaming, also known as the DIY 3070 Ti because it drops thermal padding and comes with screws that have fallen out. I actually expected the quality to be uh, on pair with their RTX 3060, oh boy was I wrong, what a pile of poop. And then we have the RTX 3080 LHR from Gigabyte Vision Overclock Revision 2. It's actually quite good looking, but I wish you could get it in black brushed metal instead, even though it doesn't really matter because it's part of my mining rig and I never see it. The RTX 3080 12GB RAM edition from Gigabyte, the gaming overclock, LHR Extreme. Okay, it's not actually called Extreme. Unfortunately, my RTX 3080 Ti is on vacation and will be back after repairs. If you haven't subscribed, Uncle Donkey would very much like you to hit subscribe and afterwards that bell notification. Yes, the bell so you can get spammed even while you sit on the toilet. I mean, who doesn't want to get a random notification at random times around the clock? It is very nice. So remember to hit the bell notification and you will get unwanted messages all the time. Ethereum overclock settings. Overclock settings for the RTX 3050 mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 1200. Set the memory to 2000 in HiveOS and 1000 in Windows. Unfortunately, full LHR unlock doesn't work on this card. And now the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 LHR V2 mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 1552. Set the memory clock to 2600 in HiveOS, which is 1300 in Windows. Onto the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 1 Mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 1350, set the memory clock to 2100 in HiveOS and 1050 in Windows. 
Now the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti LHR Hynix Revision 2 Mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 1500 and the memory clock at 3200 in high and 1600 in Windows. It is time to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 LHR Mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 11.25, set the mirror clock to 2400 in high which is 1200 in Windows. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 Ti Mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 900, set the memory clock to 2100 in high 1050 in Windows. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 10GB Mining Ethereum. Set the core clock to 1100 and the memory clock to 2800 in high OS, which is 1400 in Windows. And the final card until I get my RTX 3080 Ti back from repairs. Let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 12 gigs mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 1400, set the memory clock to 3200 in high OS, which is 1600 in Windows. If NP-41 is available in HiveOS, then you can just skip this step as you can simply update via HiveOS. If it's not available yet, create and run a flight sheet with NP-40.1 and run the command as seen on the screen. If you are using Windows, create a batch file based upon what you see here. And of course, remember to run it as admin. Results First up, we have the fantastic and powerful RTX 3050. Here we see an average of 14 MHz per second with a min max of 14 MHz per second and an average watt of 54 in HiveOS and 55 in Windows. You can see that it fluctuates with 1 watt which is not much. Efficiency wise it looks pretty bad and uh, when I say bad I mean Full hash rate unlock doesn't work on it at all, so everything is as it used to be, a very bad card. And now the results for the RTX 3060. We can see that the average megahash per second in hardware is 49.4, while it is 0.1 lower in Windows. Also the min max is jumping a little bit, not something to be worried about. The average watts is at 115, while the min max is jumping only 1 watt in HiOS while 4 watts in Windows. The average efficiency is pretty much the same, with HiOS having an efficiency of 0.430 and Windows being 0.001 less. So pretty much the same. The core temperature is 1 degree higher in HiveOS, while the minimum is the same in Windows and HiveOS. All of a sudden, this has become a very nice and efficient graphic card for mining Ethereum. That is absolutely awesome. Let's have a look at the average results for the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 1. We see the average megahash per second for HiveOS is 59.3 megahash per second, while Windows being 0.2 megahash per second lower. When looking at mid max megahash per second, we can see that Windows is sometimes 0.1 megahash per second lower, and that is why it is overall lower in the average score. We can also see that HiveOS is using 1 watt more compared to Windows. When looking at min max once, we can see that it took a dip at some point all the way down to 122 watts, which means that, yeah, it's still awesome. That is what it means. When looking at the efficiency, Windows is better, but only by 0.002, so still pretty much the same. Now let's have a look at the results for the RTX 3060 Ti LHR. Rocking Hynix Revision 2 memory. Looking at the average megahash per second, we can see that in HiveOS you will get 64.4 megahash per second, while in Windows you will get 64.3, so a difference of 0.1 megahash per second. Looking at min max megahash per second, we can see that that is actually due to Windows having a lower minimum megahash per second, while HiveOS having a higher. We can also see that HiveOS is using 1 watt more than Windows, rocking a 158 average watts per second. Looking at min max watts, we can see that Windows has a much lower minimum watt, 
which also reflects in the average efficiency being 0.410 for Windows and 0.408 for HiveOS. And again that is reflected in min-max core temperature where the lowest temperature is 1 degree lower in Windows compared to HiveOS. Now let's have a look at the results for the RTX 3070 LHR. You can see here that the average result for HiveOS is 61.4 MHz per second, while the average for Windows is 61.2. When we look at min-max, we can see that the minimum is lower for Windows by a whole MHz per second, which again reflects in the average watch by 1 watt from 124 in HiveOS to 123 in Windows. When HiveOS uses 124 minimum watts, Windows uses 120, while HiveOS uses a max of 125, Windows uses 124. However, this pans out to be more efficient in Windows with an efficiency of 0.498 for Windows and an efficiency 0.003 lower for HiveOS. Looking at min-max core temperature, we'll see that Windows has a lower, lowest temperature at 45 degrees, while HiveOS has one at 46. The max for both are 47. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3070 Ti's result. In HiveOS, 78.6 average megahertz per second, while in Windows, 78.5. And again, if we look at mid max megahertz per second, we can see that Windows have a lower minimum megahertz per second, while HiveOS have a higher. We can also see in average watts that HiveOS uses one watt more at 197 watts, while Windows have an average watts of 196. Again, looking at mid max, that is due to Windows having an overall lower minimum watt uses at 192, while the Lowest for HiveOS is 196. This also makes Windows more efficient, rocking an average efficiency of 0.401, while HiveOS having an average efficiency of 0.399. The minimum core temperature for both of the cards are the same at 48 degrees Celsius, while the maximum is 50 for HiveOS and 49 for Windows. Now let's have a look at the results for the RTX 3080 10 gigs. The average hash rate for HiveOS is 102.1 MHz per second, while 101.9 for Windows. When looking at mid-max MHz per second, we can see that the reason is that Windows have a lower lowest MHz per second at 100.5 MHz per second, while the minimum is 102.1 for HiveOS. HiveOS is also a bit higher with .2 in the highest. Looking at average watts, we see that HiveOS is using 241 watts, while Windows is using 244. The reason for that can be seen in min max watts, where we see that HiveOS is using less max watts compared to Windows and has a higher lowest watts compared to Windows. That also makes HiveOS more efficient in this case with an efficiency of 0.424, while Windows having an efficiency of 0.418. Looking at the core temperature, we see that HiveOS is running at 52 degrees throughout, while Windows is a minimum of 51 and a maximum of 52. Now let's have a look at the results for the RTX 3080 12 gigs. Although not unlocked, it doesn't look that bad. Average megahertz per second for HiveOS is 74.2, while being 74.1 for Windows. Looking at mid-max megahertz per second, we can see that that is due to Windows having a lower lowest megahertz per second compared to HiveOS. Looking at average watts, we can see that HiveOS is using 260 watts, while Windows is using 235. That is actually a big difference. Looking at mid-max watts, we can see the reason for that is that in Windows it dropped up to 279 watts in Windows while staying at 216 in HiveOS. Looking at average efficiency, we see 0.344 for HiveOS and 0.315 for Windows. Core temperature is also 2 degrees higher in Windows. Now let's have a look at the mining screen. To the left we have HiveOS and to the right Windows 10. Gotta love that grey out Windows 10 look though. <laughs> What is pretty apparent here is that HiveOS doesn't show memory temperature while it is actually shown in Windows, which is super nice. 
That said, Hivo SUI actually shows memory temperature just fine. Before we move on to profits, please be so very kind to share your results in the comments, including your overclock settings, graphic card, and which OS you are running. And also give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Conclusion NP Miner 41.0 Full LHR Unlock works really well in both high OS and Windows 10. With the exception of LHR V3 cards like the RTX 3050 and RTX 3080 12 gigs. I really do hope they manage to unlock those as well. It is going to be very interesting to see which effect this will have on Ethereum profits in the long run. Well, we are going proof of stake soon anyway, so in the short term I guess. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did then please like, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and help me out by sharing the video with someone you know, and for us and everywhere you can actually. I really appreciate it. And for you who said that this is the end of my channel, pretty far from it, I'm covering a whole range of different cryptocurrencies, not only Ethereum. So go check out my channel for other videos. I will release a Flux video within the next couple of days, it should have been out now, but you know with LHR full unlock, well I just had to do that first. Now I'll leave you with the profits, you will be able to see both Windows and Hive OS profits for the different cards. Enjoy and I hope to see you in the next one. Profits. Kaching. Thank you.